What is up wrestling fans, Tony Mango here welcoming you to yet another edition of the internet wrestling community outreach portion of the Smark Out Moment Smack Talk podcast for the week. We're going to start things off with the Smark My Words comment of the week, and the winner this time around is Ben Guest for a comment that he left on our discussion about Sean Waltman being arrested. He says, I think him being on a trip is the exact problem. Which, you know how I operate when it comes to puns and wordplay and stuff like that. Always goes straight to my funny bones. So thank you, Ben, for that comment. Made me laugh. Everybody, make sure that you check out Ben's weekly power ranking that he puts up on SmartCapMoment.com. Always an interesting read there. Big thanks to everybody else who left comments all over the place as well on our YouTube pages, our Twitter, our so on and so forth including our Facebook group, The Mega Maniacs. You can find that at facebook.com slash group slash The Mega Maniacs. Makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? It's where we do our live chatting throughout the week for the shows and where we post other random things on the days that we're kind of like the off content and stuff like that. So if you are on Facebook, sign up for that group and have some fun with us. Sometime over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be having the May mailbag special. So start sending in your questions. You can do so by tweeting at SmartOutMoment with the hashtag mailbag, or you can leave an email through the contact form of the website. And if it's a wrestling-related question or something completely unrelated to it, whatever you want to pick our brains about, just send it our way and we will try to answer it. If you want to help support the growth of Smart Out Moment for the future, there's a couple different things that you should be aware of. As far as monetary donations go, there's the PayPal button at the bottom of SmartOutMoment.com, the YouTube's fan funding module, or the Patreon account. You could also buy some t-shirts and some other kinds of different merchandise over at our Redbubble and our Public shops. And you can also help spread the word about the website in a couple different ways, such as the Sign Me Up initiative. For that, all you got to do is if you're going to a wrestling show, Take a sign that says Smart Out Moment. Send me a picture of yourself holding it up. There you go. All set and done for that one. But the most important thing out of everything is to help us grow our social media account audience. You can do that by retweeting and following us on Twitter, liking and sharing our posts on Facebook, giving all of our YouTube videos a thumbs up. Obviously, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, go ahead and do that. Leave a positive review on iTunes. Leave your comments on the YouTube pages. Share the articles on things like Reddit and on message boards and essentially anything that you guys can think of to get our name out there is greatly, greatly appreciated. And the same thing is going to apply to fanboysanonymous.com, which is our spot for movie reviews and other kind of nerdy topics like that, superheroes and whatnot. So if you want to geek out with me on that kind of stuff, head on over to fanboysanonymous.com, follow the Facebook and Twitter accounts, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out the Tee Public shop for the fanboys designs, and so on and so forth. And that brings us to our major topic of this video, the wrestling trivia question of the week, otherwise known as the Ask Him. Last week's question was, name the three active WWE roster superstars who have won the NWA championship at some point in their careers. And the answer to that one was Rhino, R-Truth, and AJ Styles. So actually, everybody who took a guess got this correct. Bobby Listener, G86, Christopher Marin, Peter Piccinini, and the Dominator 39 are all of you get nothing. But you all did a great job, so congrats, everybody. Pat yourself on the back. And uh, that's going to take us into this week's question, which I was trying to think of something UK-related because we had a lot of talk about London and tryouts and you know, tapings, everything happening there. We had the tapings for the UK show, which God knows what's happening with that at this point. So lots of England going on at the moment. So I started looking up some different things and uh, came across this little interesting tidbit of information that I was totally not aware of. And I'm going to try to spin that into a question for you guys. So which English wrestler currently on the roster once wrestled as a Japanese star named Darkseid Hayabusa? Here's hoping that I pronounced that correctly. I don't know for sure. <laughs> but if you think you know the answer, you want to leave a guess or anything else like that, drop a comments below. Next week, I'll tell you who that person is and anything else that we need to run down. 
But that's it for this week's edition of the IWC Outreach. I want to thank you all for listening, and I want to remind you all again, hit that subscribe button and to stay tuned for everything else that's coming your way for this episode of Smack Talk. The main event most likely is going to be just our discussion on the round three breakdown of the Sexiest Superstars tournament, but maybe we're going to get some else thrown into the mix. I don't know. kind of depends, but stay tuned for that, and you can do so by just subscribing to the channel and following us all over our social media accounts to get those notifications whenever we end up posting that stuff. But for now, this has been another Smart Out moment, and I'm being counted out. Oh!